Understanding volcano's language. Yes, volcano talks. And the way it talks is like a child with bubbles. The seismogram that show, I'm showing you here is actually showing the bursting of bubbles inside the volcano. The volcano contains water, vol volatiles, which are in chemical bound. And when they burst, they create tremors, earthquakes, mini earthquakes. And we pick those mini earthquakes and show, show them on a graph. We listen to them practically. Bigger bubbles create a, a different line, the purple one. They are less numerous. And the smaller bubbles are produced after the burst of the bigger bubbles. And they are more numerous. They create more pronounced changes. These patterns are displayed on the uh, seismogram. Sometimes you see the, there is a rise. Then there is a downward movement, then again there is a rise, and then again downward movement. The reason for that is, uh, is something that we have to guess, but is more pro most probably is correct. Uh, the little, little maxima that you saw in the downward is probably means that the magma has stopped somewhere in midway. We call them chambers, reservoirs. Magma stops there, builds up, melts the wall, uh, wall of the chamber, incorporates them into its composition, and uh, spends some time there actually gaining pressure. More magma arrives from behind, fills up the cavity, and then erupts to the surface with a lot of pressure. So when you see the magma is stopped for a longer time, or there's a mini stop, then rising again. You can guess within the earth crust, there are reservoirs, there are places like a stations, like a stops, like a bus stop, that they stop, take more passengers, take more magma, then rise again. The pressure buildup will make them to come to the surface. This is the pressure of the volatiles.